as a concept to bring kids here and to immerse them in this place and to help them learn about their environment and in particular bighorn sheep. The Game and Fish Department really, uh, you know, these kids are, are the future of our agency. Some of them are going to work for us in the future. Uh, they're going to be fu future anglers and hunters and wildlife conservationists. And, you know, the department believes it's important to kind of instill a conservation ethic and value um, at a young age with kids at camps like this. Um, it's important that uh, young kids develop an appreciation of nature and wildlife. That's the future of conservation in this country. And, you know, the North American model of wildlife management is that we, the public, own wildlife. And given that, it's important that uh, people are involved in conservation and wildlife management and, and educated. So camps like Camp Bighorn here and the, and the Game of Fish Department right, runs other camps up right, here at the Whiskey Mountain Conservation Camp. Are just, it's just a fantastic environment to learn about wildlife, uh, to go fishing in the evenings, to visit with friends. It's a beautiful valley. Um, it's extremely important wildlife habitat. It's incredibly scenic. Um, kids have a great time up here. And the activities that uh, they do at these camps are stuff that's gonna stick with them through their lives. Uh, the area is gonna be something they remember for their lives and that's going to instill those values of open spaces wildlife habitat and and you know rec they're going to recognize the importance of that throughout their lives so rainbow coming up from the lakes yep i think they're all into it so we we partnered with the game and fish uh to help them raise funds to rehabilitate the camp and part of the agreement was that we would have use of the camp for one week a year for the next 20 years. So uh, we decided that what better use of the camp than to use it for an educational camp for kids. What are you going to name him? Oh no. Right. I'm going to name him Fluffy. What I like about this camp is that it creates a sense of place for all the, the youth that attend it. Um, it also introduces them to a variety of outdoor skills and hobbies such as hiking, canoeing, and archery. Camp Bighorn also introduced a variety of experts to the okay, youth who attended camp. Uh, and they talked about a variety of different topics such as wildlife and art, sheep horn, bow, and flint napping, wildlife taxidermy, wildlife research, and how hunting is conservation. What I really enjoyed about the petroglyphs is that um, you, could, you could almost feel the, what the Indians believed. By in offering opportunities like this, our kids get a chance to really touch and feel and see and hear what's around them. And they get to learn the habitats. And in here, they get to learn it with other kids that are also interested in the outdoors. And it's just, it's a great opportunity to get them thinking about maybe the outdoors once they go home again and to start looking around their own home with a whole different perspective. And they can ask questions and maybe learn more about where they actually live based on what they learn here. So, it's really important that we keep sheep up there on the mountain 
and we we have you guys realize how important they are and wilderness areas are and secondly if we don't have you thinking about that if we don't keep kids on the mountain with the sheep then the sheep won't be there because you won't be teaching kids your age 20 years from now what we're teaching you so we hope you absorb some of this information you retain it and you teach the people that are younger than you and the people even your age about the importance of having wildlife on the landscape and also bringing the next generation of youth there to help keep the wildlife there. Because without you folks being concerned, we lose interest in wildlife as a society. We think computers are more important. Computer screens are more important than the landscape. And we lose the sheep on the landscape if we lose you on the landscape.